Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today we're doing my July TBR. And if you could tell by the thumbnail, I did bring back a TBR tile game board, but it obviously looks a little different than you're used to. Um, essentially what happened was I didn't want to bring back my other one because I wasn't feeling it anymore. Like I decided that I really don't care to follow my list anymore. Uh, like that I said at the beginning of the year because my reading just changed from the beginning of the year till now so much that I just don't want to follow it and I don't want to have to keep getting new release books that came out this year for my TBR treat because I mean that's what I set it for so I don't know I just wasn't vibing with it I didn't like having the easy and hard prompt split up because sometimes the hard ones weren't hard and sometimes the easy ones were hard and so I fixed my board a little bit it's got some different colors, but we still got some same things. Like, I know you can see challenge is the same. We still got the skip ahead. It's just said differently. This is still back. We have dice aside there. It's a little different. We have indie pub. That's still there. So there's just a few things that have changed. And I'm going to explain it to you when we get to the board. But first, I want to go over two books that I am still currently reading. And that is Captured by a Sinner by Michelle Hurd. And I am currently still reading no heart for a thief and i'm 42 percent of the way into no heart for a thief and i'm like 50 percent into captured by a sinner i don't know why i haven't finished either of these right now all i can say is that i haven't been like in the mood to pick them up but when i do pick them up i do enjoy what i'm reading it's just i feel like i'm getting into a slump and sometimes i feel like to get out of those i need to read some other books that are calling more to me so that's what we're gonna get into here soon. So I guess first I will show you the board and the new things and then we'll get right into the rules. Okay, so here is the new board. I'm going to hold it up closer so I can go over this with you. I'm sorry for the shine and the hair, it's just everywhere. <laughs> um, okay, so I changed a, a bunch of things. So genre pick, when I land on this one, I will just pick out of my genre jar. So essentially I just put all the genres I read from and I put them in there multiple times some more than others but that's just based on my preference and then of course I have dice to side so just like before I will roll one die and I have to get it higher than four which I didn't so the only difference is I'll show you with this one so the only difference is is if I lose on this dice instead of picking a hard prompt because I don't keep hard prompts anymore I'm going to add this total together, so seven. So I'm gonna go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And essentially I will have to do whatever I land on. So let's say I got a six instead and I landed on prompt. So I would just have to do a prompt jar pick. Hopefully that makes sense. And then this one I ran into a few problems with. So I wasn't thinking when I was putting the board together, but if I land on this one and I lose, I just go back to the beginning and I'm not going to pick any book for that just because if I have to go back to the beginning at the beginning it's already punishment enough so there's that then of course we have the prompt jar which I just pointed out is this one it just has tons of prompts some are easy some are hard some are in between depending on my mood and preference for the day then of course I kept my indie published book because I really like to support indie published authors. I have my skip ahead so essentially if I get here I'll just go all the way around to the next one and I don't pick a book for that one. Then I have challenge. So for challenge I would just pick out of my challenge store. These are somewhat similar to my challenges before but I added a lot of different things in here that I feel like will fit this better. Some are fun and easy, some are not fun and hard. <laughs> And then, of course, we have the black hole with the little skulls. So if I land on, like, this one, I have to go all the way back around to this one. And instead of, obviously, picking a hard prompt, what I decided to do was, in my reading journal, I have a list of all the books hauled. And I've got six columns. Well, I mean, this is the start of the sixth one. But, yes, it's a lot of books. Uh, a lot of them I got for free or on sale, and no, I do not regret anything. <laughs> so the ones with the dots are the ones I've already read. So what I decided to do is if I land on one of those black holes, I will take a die, and like it says, I landed on number six. So I would just go to column six and pick a book from there and read it there. I thought it would be a fun way to get me 
through the books I've hauled and haven't read yet. So I thought that was a fun aspect. So I have that. And I think that is everything I need to go over. I think we can start playing now. Okay, so here is my little owl playing piece. I'm going to set that there. I'm going to roll my first die. And of course, I'm only going to roll one because I want to give myself a chance to hit the first six. So here we go. One. Starting off slow. So it's genre. So let's just grab this one. Fantasy. Okay, I can work with that. Okay, so rule number one got us a genre prompt and it was fantasy. For this one, I have a specific book picked out that I really want to get to, and that is Of Darkness and Light by Ryan Cahill. I absolutely loved Of Blood and Fire, and I just need to continue on with it. I took a little break last month and didn't continue on, but I need to. Next, let's hope for some better movement. Seven. Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No! Okay, so we have to roll to see what column on my books hauled I'm going to be picking from. Three. That's not, not too bad. So one, two, three. I don't have too many that are read here, and there are quite a few in here that I am really interested in, so I am not mad. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, we landed on a black hole for the second roll. And we had to go back to the beginning and I ended up rolling a number three, which was column three of my books hauled. So I don't know if you could see, but I decided to go pick between two books. So The Nightmare Man and then where is it? Of Mist and Shadow. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to pick. I want to do Summerween, so I kind of want to fit The Nightmare Man in. But for all these prompts, I pretty much have a lot of like multiple options because I am indecisive and I'm allowing myself to have multiple options uh, as long as I read one of those options for it. So it's going to either be The Nightmare Man or Of Mist and Shadow. The Nightmare Man I think is about this author who writes like scary stories and they start coming to life or like they start to become real like they're happening in the way they happen in the book and I believe this one is set in fall. And it just sounds so perfect and I am excited to get to it. And then Of Mist and Shadow, this is a fantasy romance. I'm really excited to get to it. I wish I could tell you more about it, but like, like I've said in videos past, like, hi, if you're new, I have issues remembering everything and a whole other load of things. So just bear with me. Uh, this is why I don't do synopses at the beginning because I read on my phone. I have a Kindle, but it's not on and I don't feel like bringing it up. It's kind of slow and I didn't turn on my computer. So welcome to the show of Emily who is not prepared. But anyway, uh, it will be between The Nightmare Man, which is like a horror and then Of Mist and Shadow, which is a fantasy romance. And of course, we're back at the beginning again. Three. Wow, we're really making progress here. One, two, three. Prompt. Go with this. read. I am not mad about this. Not mad at all. So our next roll got us a prompt and for that we got mood read. <laughs> and I'm not going to pick anything right now. I'm just going to wait and see what I feel like picking up. I, I put a bunch of books on my list. I have like 25 books I want to get to this month, maybe 26. So I guess we'll see which ones don't fit in for anything else that I will put for mood read. We got seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another prompt. So we're just going to pull them off the top. Because I'm not digging in that thing. Oh, and I spoke too soon. 500 plus pages. Fortunately, this isn't hard right now for what I want to read. So, I mean, I'm not mad. I'm a little scared, but I'm not mad. Next, we got another prompt. And that was 500 plus pages. Which... Normally I would be kind of like wary of because big books can be intimidating for me, but I have three books that could fall under this. There are like, oh, hair got stuck in my fingernail. Anyway, uh, so I do have a bunch of books on my TBR options that I really want to get to that are 500 plus pages, but there are three that I am really focusing on for this prompt. First one is Darkwind. This is an SPFBO book. This is a fantasy romance, I believe. And it's like a princess. Something happens. This princess runs away or she's running from something and she ends up getting captured by 
this outlaw and things go from there and it sounds so good and I really want to get to it but I also have City of Gods and Monsters this is a pretty hefty book um I think it's almost 700 pages or it is 700 pages but this one people are saying it's a lot like Crescent City House of Earth and Blood and that just hooked me in I loved House of Earth and Blood but I've also heard not so good things about it, but I'm here for it. I just really want to check it out and see what it's all about. I do have the first and second book, so really hoping I enjoy it. And the third one I have is a sequel to a book I just finished last month, and that is Prey by Hannah McBride. I, I read Sanctum, which is book one in the Blackwater series, I think it's called. And this one follows wolf shifters and we're following Sky, who her and her mom just ran away from this pack that was pretty abusive and just a whole mess of things and they find refuge in the Blackwater pack I guess and Sky starts to make new friends at the school she she goes away to the school where they send young shifter kids and it just it's just like a school for shifter kids essentially and she makes so many friends and she's going through stuff like she's trying to overcome all the things that she's gone through and I just really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the chemistry, the romance, the friends, the plot was interesting and so I really want to continue on and read the second book and hopefully I enjoy it. Next we got three. One, two, three. Of course we got a dice to side so I have to get a six or I'm gonna have to go back. One. Okay, so I have to go back. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're at genre. We are never going to get to the end. <laughs> Ooh, we got fantasy romance. I am currently wanting to read fantasy romance, so this is perfect. So we got to a dice to side. And of course I lost. I'm not surprised, honestly. So we had to go back and we ended up on genre. And that got me fan row and I'm not mad about it because I love fan row at the moment. Like that's just all I want to read. So I'm not mad about it. Also, if you hear some banging, my mom and my daughter are making macarons. So that's how it's going. Anyway, so I have three options for this. <laughs> I just can't decide. Okay. I'm very indecisive and my mood changes throughout the month. So I'm giving myself options. So I have Crown of Blood and Glass. This one, I believe her best friend betrays her and she ends up being saved by her enemy. So, I mean, that sounds great. Enemies to lovers and a friendship betrayal. Like, that's just heartbreaking, honestly, but sounds so good and I really want to get to it. The next one is Shadows of Viridia, I'm thinking. Um, so I've heard that this one is sort of like divergent a little bit and that you have to like pick where you want to be like what court or whatever and all of a sudden everyone's just really interested in our main character and then we have someone who's like a darker thing like you know like the dauntless are really dark you know so it's like something like that similar i'm not 100 sure that i'm saying this correctly but that is essentially what i can remember for it so that one sounds really good so i also have kiss of death by alice wilde I could be wrong anyway the pictures will be here and this one is I there's a TikTok that I always see from the author for this and it's like uh this is what like the love interest is essentially like death and this is what he looks like and he just ugh, badass like I just I can't even explain into words what the TikToks for this does to me like it's just so good and like spicy and I just I need to know. I need to know. And I hope it's good. Let's hope we get some more progress. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. Four. So I have to get a five or a six. So please give me a five or six, please. Yes. Okay. So I don't have to do anything. I don't have to pick anything. We're safe. Four. One, two, three, four. I get to skip ahead. So that's nice. Still don't have to pick anything. See, the board's being so much nicer now since it was at the beginning. Ooh, we got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh boy. So I need a 3, 4, 5, or 6. Please don't give me a 1. 5. We're good. We could stay. We don't have to pick anything. Great. Almost to the end. 9. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, a challenge. There's one in here that could be go back to the beginning. So mix it up. I'm gonna grab this one and hope for the best. Oh no. Roll a die and to decide how many prompts to pick. So I'm gonna roll a die and whatever number it gives me, that's how many prompts I have to pick and complete. So I mean it's not too bad. We can't go back from here, so I'm I'm not mad. I mean, oh god, we could, but I can't get a one, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna roll one die. See how many prompts we're gonna pick? Four. Not bad. It's a good number. Let's see. First prompt. An audiobook. Couldn't have picked a better prompt myself. Next, we got ends on an even page count. Still not hard. I don't want any hard ones. I'm a little scared because there are some in here that I really don't want right now. Ooh, one that has chapter titles. That one's a little harder, but I think I can make it work. Okay, so we're gonna pick the last one. And it is spooky. I can work with spooky. That's not too bad. Okay, so we got audiobook, ends on an even page count, chapter titles, and spooky. I can I can live with that. Let me pick these up, put them in the pile. Next, we got a dice challenge, and I won this one, thankfully. And then we landed on a skip ahead, so we were doing really great. And then I got another dice thing, and I won. And I, at this point, I'm wondering if I'm going to get any more books on my TBR. And then we get a challenge spot. And the challenge spot is roll a die to decide how many prompts to pick. And of course I rolled a four, so not too bad. It could have been worse, honestly. But I am pretty happy with what I got. So the first one is audiobook. Again, I have three books for this. So I have Beneath Devil's Bridge. I recently saw this one on someone's video and they recommended it. It's on Kindle Unlimited and the audiobook's free. So I think this one will be a good one because I really enjoy podcast elements and this one has podcast elements in it. And there's like a mystery thriller about someone who died and I, it has to do with this bridge and this podcaster's trying to figure it out and it just sounds perfect and I just want to get into it. And then the other ones are both rereads for me. The first one is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I recently like binge watched a bunch of the Shadowhunters episodes on Hulu and it just made me want to get back into the series. Um... I don't know if I'll read the Infernal Devices again because I'm pretty like memorable of what those are and I definitely want to get into the Dark Artifices so I would like to reread these so that I can get into those. So this is a pretty chunky book but again I have the audiobook for it so it should go fast especially since it's a reread I can just pop it on and do things and it would work out easily. And then the other one that's also going to be a quick read is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by She Who Shall Not Be Named. And I love this cover. Um, I love the story. It's just so nostalgic. And I kind of want to read like one a, a month till the end of the year and I'm behind a book. So if I get into this, I could then read The Chamber of Secrets. So... That would be nice if I could get those two also. Then the next prompt we had was ends on an even page count. So for this, I'm really excited because I've heard nothing but good things about this book and I just need to get on the hype train and read it. I've seen TikToks for this one and I am obsessed with the TikToks and I've tried not to spoil myself. So I need to read this before I do get spoiled. And that is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. So I got the pretty edition that everyone has gotten. And this one, without trying to show any spoilers at the end, ends on 498. So an even page number. I'm really excited, um, but I'm also a little scared because what if I don't like it as much as everyone else? I mean, but the FOMO is real. So I hope I love that one as much as everyone else. Next, I had chapter titles, and this one can be hard sometimes, but um, since I have a big list of books I want to read this month, I found two that could work for this. 
So the first one is Kill River. This one has chapter titles. Essentially, if you don't know what a chapter title is, it's you got... So the chapter will say like chapter one, the secret. So as long as it has like some kind of title with the chapter number, that's essentially a chapter title. So I have Kill River. I really want to read this horror at a water park. Uh, these kids uh, sneak out from their camp or whatever and they find this abandoned water park and things start happening deadly things start happening and I'm just here for it and I really want to read this around a time that I'm going to a water park we just went to one on Friday I'm filming this on the second the day that you're hopefully going to see this but uh, I really want to read this book but it's kind of long so that's kind of what's been holding me back from it it's like 350 pages I think so hopefully fingers crossed I get to this one the other one is a I don't know if it's like a mafia romance or just a dark romance in general but it's called The Predator by Runix I've heard really good things I've heard that if you like Haunting Adeline that you will probably like this so I loved Haunting Adeline which I still need to read the sequel for and I really want to try this one out so I don't know I have so many books I want to read this month and I could do it if I push myself through it, but I have not finished a book since the end of June. And here we are on the 2nd of July, so I am behind. I have 25, 26 books on my kind of want to read this month, and I'm already behind. So, wish me luck. Moving on. So, the final prompt that I got for this challenge spot is spooky and this one wasn't hard either because like I said I really want to do summer ween so for this one I have three so I have under the blade something happens at this summer camp I don't know if this girl is the only survivor but essentially she's gonna go back to this camp and I think she might be writing a story on it sounds good then I have paradise club this one essentially a vacation gone wrong like I think people win a vacation or something and they get to go for free and then they start getting killed what a vacation and the last one I have on Kindle Unlimited is a flicker in the dark. This is like this girl's father was accused of murdering people or someone. And then it starts happening again and she's starting to wonder like, did he really? Or is there a copycat killer or did they not catch the right person? So that one sounds really good. I love the cover to it too. Okay. Yay. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now we can do the viewer recommends and we made it through the game. We struggled, but we got there. So not too bad for our first round. I am pleasantly surprised and happy. And finally, we got to the end spot. This game wasn't too nice, but it wasn't too mean either. So I'm going to take it. And the end spot means viewer recommendation. And last month I got Master of Sorrows. And unfortunately, I did not read it. I'm just not like feeling adult fantasy at the moment. And like the ones I do have going on at the moment I kind of want to finish them before I start a new one but I'm hoping that maybe I can start this one this month I wanted to start it last month and it didn't happen so I want to start this one this month fingers crossed hopefully hopefully and uh we're also going to do another one for the month of July so I'm going to do that right now Okay, and so the pick was King of Battle and Blood. This one's kind of like a soft DNF from before. I got up to like 40%, and then for whatever reason, I just put it down. And so I'm happy it's come back up again because I really enjoyed it, and it's a fantasy romance, and it's got vampires and everything. So I am going to be restarting it and getting back into it, and hopefully I continue and finish it this time. So... Thank you to those of you who have commented and those of you who have chosen books for me. I very much appreciate it. Thank you to the ones that have been chosen for the past few months. I very much appreciate you and your comments. And uh, my first one got me a five-star book, so I can only imagine that these next ones are going to be great too. I believe that was everything for my TBR. Now I kind of want to go over my Summer Ween TBR, so I'm just going to get right into that. So... Summer Ween is hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads and Olivia from Olivia Le Reads a, a Latte. And it is from July 7th through the 13th. And there are five prompts and I'm hoping to do all five, but we'll see. So the first one is read a book in the dark. For this one, I have chosen Under the Blade, but could change, but that's essentially what I picked. Then for read a thriller, I decided to go with A Flicker in the Dark. Read a, 
read a book set in fall, I decided to put The Nightmare Man here because I'm really excited for this one and I made sure that it was set in the fall and my little search words and stuff into the book allude to the fact that it's set in fall. So I'm hoping it is. <laughs> and then read a book with orange or black on the cover. For this one, I'm going to go with Beneath Devil's Bridge because it's got blue on here, but it's also got a lot of black. And then the last one, read a manga, graphic novel, or novella. For this, I'm obviously going to go with a novella. So I have four here. I have The Clown Hunt, The Switch House, Spine Shivers, and The Sleepover Massacre. I'm not sure which one I want to get to, so maybe you guys could let me know down below um, if you've read any of these and which one I should prioritize over the others. That would be great. But that was everything. I'm so happy to have another board back. I missed having a board game to do, and while I loved and enjoyed my envelopes, they didn't feel like something I wanted to do long term. So they were kind of a placeholder for me to figure out what I wanted to do about the board game. So hopefully that one sticks. Who knows around here. But if you like this video, like it down below. Comment down below letting me know what your plans are for July. Are you guys going on any vacations? And subscribe if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it. And until my next video, I will see you guys again soon. Bye!